hello, 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 hello. This is the opening of the video. You guys, it is finally time. Do you want to tell them what we're doing? We are beginning to legitimately look for houses. Legitimately. Like, like not like, oh, let's just look at houses on Har. No, yeah. we're going to see houses now for real. Because we're pre-approved and ah, I'm just so excited. Honestly, I almost can't believe it, but I'm so ready. And Taz and I have been talking. And just to give you an update on like the market, mm. Taz and I have been saving homes that we really, really like and are interested in seeing. And um, <laughs> literally the next day they're gone. So I told they're Taz pending. this morning. They're not gone. It's not like it, yeah, they're, they're pending, market, but, but they're off market, so we can't see them. And typically, you know, they're gonna get got. You know. So I was like Taz, like, do we have to potentially make a decision today? Like, because if you know anything about me, I am the most indecisive person in the world. So, you know, we've talked about our wants, our needs. Actually, we should talk about that too before we yeah. go in. So we have a plan how we're gonna do this video instead of like talking through every single house. Yeah. We're probably just gonna show you footage of the house and then we'll talk about what we like, what we don't after on the way to the next one. It's not gonna be like an in-depth thing, but things yeah. about the house. Yeah, um, so we're going with our realtor, Ashley, and we're going from 3.30 to, I think the last one's at 6.30. So we're seeing six houses today? Six houses. Six in houses. In, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot today because like I said, they're just getting snatched and we want to try to get um, the most options, I guess. So so what we want and kind of like our non-negotiables, um, do you want to just start? I feel like I'm talking the whole time and you, you're definitely part of this. Yeah, so a big thing uh, moving, trying to move out of an apartment is, I mean, goes without saying, buying a house, um, having equity in a home. But things that we're looking for are um, space for home office for her. So whether that's three bedrooms and a study or four bedrooms because so we need a bedroom for us, we need a bedroom for guests that come, we need a bedroom for potentially a bebe that we have th thinking coming down the line, and then an office. So again, whether that's three bedrooms in an office or four bedrooms. Um, to honestly, one of those two I would offices. really, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Honestly, I would really love four bedrooms and a flex space for an office just mm. because we have so much family coming in and you know like a, this year alone we've had my family and his family in town and his family had to get a hotel my family all had to sleep on the floor because we just didn't have room so the yeah the more the merrier is what i'm trying to say yeah um we're ideally should we tell them our budget i think we should let you want to or, 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 let them know what we're looking okay at. so typically um i don't we're just gonna be transparent what we got approved for um i don't want this to come off as like we're trying to be flashy because i'll tell you <laughs> the houses we're looking at are not, not flashy. flashy so um so the very first approval that we got was 195 and that's when taz and i were like we can't I'm, there's no way i'm going to purchase a house and on that budget so or that uh loan so the second one that we got approved for, which was the video that we made, we got approved for 300,000 and she even said that we had r wiggle room to go up to 350, I think is what she said. Yep. Now, with that said, we do not want to hit that. No, unless we want to stay under 300,000. Unless it is the perfect house that doesn't need any help. That doesn't need any renovations, no paint, no like Flooring, nothing. Flooring, it needs to be like what we ultimately want yeah um so like she said that's a top 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 end of our budget we are wanting to stay closer to like probably 220 to 250. with that being said the 220 to 250 that range is probably going to require some painting on the inside it's probably going to require maybe some flooring ripping out carpet um probably maybe a little bit of structural stuff knocking down a wall not saying all that stuff will happen now but right. over the course of time to make it into something that um one increases in value um and two gives us something we actually enjoy living in and also we are thinking more of an investment properties so hopefully the plan is that we'll be able to use this as an investment property and rent it out in the future for when we move to our new home so if you've seen some of our house tours before when we went to go look it'll be very different because at first we were thinking about building and it was going to look very new and like Tass said a lot of these homes need some tlc and what we've been focusing on we found some beautiful ones that were under our budget but apparently the unfortunately they got swooped up really fast and i'm very very sad about that because the amount of homes that were like oh my gosh they're so beautiful <laughs> um the character and the uniqueness and just the layout 
is it's very different than what you're seeing now here in Houston. So a lot of these homes are very old. <laughs> Some of them are slightly old, but these are not going to be like the new homes that yeah. you've seen in the past. We might do that tomorrow, depending on how today goes, but... On the plus side of having an older home, one, it's gonna have more character. Yeah. Two, the lot sizes are typically bigger. So going back to what we're looking for, we're looking for a decent amount of rooms. So like we said, four bedrooms plus a study would be great. Three bedrooms plus a study um, would, you know, would work as well. A big lot for the puppies um, because another reason like we, we want room for them to run around because in an apartment right now, uh, they just don't have yeah. room. We just want to let them out, go to the bathroom. Um, apartment life just isn't working well for them. So um, on top of that, we would love, with a lot of these older homes, you have these kind of soaring cathedral vaulted ceilings in the living room, which is- I'll put a picture great. here of what we would love. Yeah. And it's essentially just a chimney or a fireplace that goes all the way up to the roof and there's windows on both sides. Windows and on both sides isn't uh, a necessity. It would be great, but um, those the necessity, go really fast. Yeah. The necessity is light. So let's make this quick. So the necessities are, the uh, three or four bedrooms, a yard, um, a lot of light, because I'm usually at home, I film at home and I need the light. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, decent bones, that yeah. would be something that we can transform. Yeah, um, um, we are looking for wood floors, but again, if it needs to be like, a carpet needs to be ripped out, or uh, we need to remove the, the floors that are there and then just replace them, that's not like the biggest like, that just has to be considered with the price. Right, like right. we're not gonna pay 280 for something that needs a lot of work. We're gonna try and find something. Yeah, cheaper, so. and then I'll just say this because we've seen it. If we can get a pool, that'd be great. But again, it's not like priority, but we say that because we've seen houses that come with them in our price range that we really like and we wanted to jump on, but again, they got sold. Mm. So I think that's it. We will come back on in the next or the first house. Like I said, we have six homes to see today, I think, six or seven, and I'm so, I'm so excited. I just can't even speak, I'm so excited. Can you believe it's here? I can't. It's been so long coming. Oh, let's so let's get, get out of it. Let's get do this. Let's, like, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like it sounds like just like him? Okay, so. I just got down the first house. Right before we went in, we prayed. Mm -hmm. We did pray. <laughs> and we said, <laughs> what did you say that? I was like, yes. Like, yeah, I'm well, looking for peace. Yeah. Did not get peace. Did not have peace in the house. Listen, all of these uh, pictures that we were looking at, they're so deceiving. That house is so small compared to like what we thought it was. Um, and it wasn't like the, the size that got me. It was just like. The feeling you get inside. The like, feeling and then like some uh, structural things that we probably wouldn't be able to do because it's supporting the house and a um, couple things we liked. I like the high ceilings, but I prefer a little bit bigger room <laughs> in a high ceiling. It just felt like a really small room. And I think Taz and I, that's going to be our main living area. And I want it to feel good. Hated the kitchen, hated the master. Um, and then just like, we would have to do a ton to it. Yeah. And, and a, a ton to it. Are we gonna so, tell price of the house? Oh yeah, that one was, that one was 229, yeah, yeah. 229. Um, and yeah, anything a, else? It, needs a, it would need a fair amount of work. Like, if we didn't care about aesthetics, it would be fine. But, yeah. um, but we care where, we'd, where we'd want it to be at, we would probably need to get that house for closer to 200,000 to yeah. make it work with what we'd want to do with it, so. I mean, it's been on the market for a month, which the longer a house is on the market, it does give you more power. But yeah, with that being said, um, it's just, uh, it would have to be a little bit lower. What was I saying? Actually, don't cut that out. Just because, <laughs> oh yeah, the longer the house is on a market, um, the more power you have to negotiate because the owner obviously wants to get the house sold, so you can potentially negotiate a lower price, but it's only been on the market about a month which means we probably wouldn't be able to get that much off. Yeah. So with that being said, it's probably, um, unless we can get it down to 200, it's probably not gonna be. And also, I didn't really love the neighborhood. Um, on the way into the like neighborhood, there's another neighborhood that looks kind of just like, I, I don't like it very much. So we're off to the next one. We're four minutes away, so here we go. Okay, we just got to the second one, and look at, look at this. Like, it's like a clear box but you can literally see the inside of the house. So I don't know how I feel about that. Is it just like a porch? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want the new houses. I want the new houses. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, not horrible. Ceilings are a little bit short. Put your hand up. Actually, I'm on this list because it is older, okay? The neighborhood itself has a lot of character. It's on a cold as back street. Um, from what I see, the neighbors are pretty cool, chill people. I just saw one walking. He looked like an older, retired person, <laughs> okay? Um, This is so strange. It is strange. I'm having a little bit of a hard time. <laughs> but this is the first alley of Lumina Houses here. This is the first. How many do you recognize? Right here. That opened well, here. Well, I'm going to say that this is the first alley of Lumina Houses. Okay. Um, so if I let buyers pick what they like and they send it to me, after we look at enough houses that they pick, <laughs> then I start picking. And usually by like the third or fourth house, I can make them fall in love. Seriously? Yep. What the heck? What? Nope. Which one? What? Nope. <laughs> is this the master? There's carpet. What? Why is there carpet in the bathroom? Nope. <laughs> no. now, I'm a, nope. now you want to go to the new houses or what? <laughs> Why am I funny, babe? Because it's the second house we've seen and you're already like, well, I, I we need to rethink what we're doing. <laughs> no, we don't. We just go see more houses. So, second house down. Hate it. Not really good. Not really good. We're going to um the owners. This is like this was a two son $270,000 home. They remodeled it a bit. They put some put some money into it, but it, it, not in the way that we liked. So um, low ceilings. It reminded me of our first apartment in Astoria. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was kind of dark, yeah. low ceilings. Yeah. So like kind of the opposite of what we're looking for. So yeah. on to house number three. I didn't really watch video on there. Okay, so just left house numero tres. Oh and <laughs> this one was or is 235. It's been on the market for two days, so they're suspecting that someone's gonna take it right up because it's actually a really nice house. It's um, this one's more it, it leans more towards like an inventory home that or not inventory like a new build. Kind of has that same feel, less um, character. <laughs> Uh, but it was nice. It had higher ceilings. The only windows. thing that concerned me was the floor plan. They had this, I mean, it was cool, but it had this like little room that I think would be great for like- Kids playroom. A kids playroom, yeah. Um, there wasn't really a an office per se, and the dining room was beautiful. It was a really big space. And I thought, well, maybe we'll, we can convert that. But then I thought that the other dining area, like the breakfast nook was too small so I don't know that it's the best house for us but mm. again very pretty and I think we're making progress so far yeah. so on to house number four and earlier we said we're seeing six houses <laughs> we're not we're seeing nine houses today so house number four coming right on up I'll give you a quick note on that this one we liked but I feel like it's gonna be one of those that was deceiving and it's gonna be tiny so we'll see Excuse me? What was that? Stairs. What was that? The curved stairs. I was looking at the curved stairs. <laughs> Which are very <laughs> tiny. I know, they're right by the door. Yeah. These are vinyl stairs. A lot of vinyl stairs. Yeah, they do look like they can be fresh. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. He almost was I hit. I am not responsible <laughs> for any broken, any broken chandeliers. Big yard. This Huge. Is very, Big yard. Yeah, you can tell the floors are just put down. They're very fresh. Well. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that one bamboozled us, bamboozled us a little bit. With the photos. Yeah. So, 
I think if the actual house in like overall was like if you can go and blow it up a little bit yeah it would be it'd be beautiful perfect. low but ceilings it, yeah kitchen felt a little tight yeah but good good thing about that is it's been on the market for a total of like 37, 37 days. days so coming up on um, I mean it'll be two months I'm pretty quick with that so listed pretty low in price so it would give us some room to like Play do some here. stuff but we would need to do a lot a lot like I'm we thinking like push out a wall yeah 10 feet to make that kitchen bigger yeah but um, again yeah, we're so not in the business of doing rentals like we want little things like painting floors, floors. Yeah. like we don't want to do any major structural no stuff. I mean while I do think that's gonna be a fun project in the future like I do want to do that once in my life but not our first home like yeah. I don't want to yeah all right well, on to the next I do. I knew it. Like you changed the green. I knew it's it. It's gonna look like a totally different home. I know. I'm just being dramatic. I was like, she is not gonna like this. I was like, she is not gonna like this. It's not bad. Okay, let's see. So, everybody wants to pay cheaper taxes. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a... Yeah. Oh, watch your step. Oh, yeah. All right, so welcome to Dabney. This property is listed at two fourteen nine. They recently dropped price on the eighth from two twenty nine nine to two fourteen nine. I honestly feel like they have a little bit more dropping to do. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I say that though is because homes are selling in this, like they're selling in this price point in the neighborhood, but they're much more updated. Got it. That's why. Okay. Um, I see it's got semi new carpet. Yeah. Is the carpet blue? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Is that the bathroom? Yeah. No. The That's place. not cool. I mean, we can we can look at Taylor. Are you kidding? We can look at. Um, this is so hard to come up here. All day long. Which ones? Six and seven hundred thousand dollars. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Long, but we have to be realistic too. You know? I'm gonna fall. You're not gonna. Fall. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. I have big feet. You're not gonna fall. <laughs> can you hold this? It's recording. <laughs> Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a giant. But, um... <laughs> my knees are going up on this. So... a one and a half story. So this is... Like a one story with a loft space. Loft space. Yeah. No, this one's going to go down there. Why? Oh, this one's going to go down there. Taz and I about to fight. We about to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. have very varying opinions on that house. Yeah. Well, I hated it. <laughs> no, let me stop. I didn't hate it. I think it had a lot of um, potential. It has the most potential of any house I think we've seen so far. Mm, no, is that, no. Am I wrong? What other house had more? Potential? Actually, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, I'm right. You're right. Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying is I don't think the timing is correct. I think if we had more time to make the renovations, that's like a heavy reno. It's not like paint the walls and you know, there, Taz talked about moving staircase, moving doors, like, I mean, there was a lot to do. And I mean, it's not completely off my list because our real estate agent said that, you know, she suggests that the price needs to come down a little bit depending on like the area we're in and how all the other houses are selling in the market in this area so i mean if we get it oh we didn't say what how much that was that house, the house was. is going for 215. yeah so if we could get it for under 200 then that puts us in a much better position to one pay so much less monthly and put more towards renovations right. and things like that so um that's really like the draw i saw it's a four bed two bath plus like a loft area that would be great for like her office um but in order to get it to where we need to be it would it would just take more and that's kind of uh where we're standing as far as the price is concerned yeah yeah if we get it for under 200 
potentially, but yeah, she didn't like the idea of the amount of work that we need to do right now. In the short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, on to the next. This one I'm excited for, but this is a little bit higher on our price range. This next one is two eighty nine, I think. But we'll confirm. Also, I'm starving. <laughs> yes? I'm not upset. You're upset. I'm not upset. You raised your voice at me. No, I did. <laughs> you yelled at me. What did you ask me just now? I asked you if you were... <clears throat> you saw things more for what they are instead of what they could be. And what did you think? And or I what thought, do you think? I thought you are definitely more of a what you see in front of you. No, you don't know who I am then. Because if you had seen it for what it could be, then... It, you're you you're, you're getting have. this all twisted. I see it. I see you the potential. You don't see it. You, you had this look in your face. I like, see I the potential. I need to get out of this house right now That's before not. I freak. You literally said that in your head. You're making me sound like I'm such high maintenance. Like I'm a, I'm a high maintenance biatch. And I'm not. No, no. I just don't think... I saw so much potential in this. I did too. You're annoying. <laughs> I don't think you did though. I'm done. We'll see the next house. So. Okay. Welcome to 19006. I think people are just happy to get out of a house and start looking at houses again. Oh, I know which one this one was. Yes. Oh, yep, 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 yep. This one's cute. This one's cute. Okay. We got some transition flooring, but you got four countertops in the kitchen. Okay. 42 inch cabinets. Nice shade tree in the back. Right. So I love these double doors. Cabinet. Love the double doors. Uh -huh. Love that. Uh huh. What do you think? I like it. Wow, this is a big room. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. So weird. You see what happens when you go up on the price point, right? Yep. <laughs> Right. Can you take video up here? Wait, you think it has a nice wow factor to it? I, I mean, think so. Like really good size. You know? Yeah. I love the stairs. So do I. <laughs> Before we lose the light, baby, um, what do yeah. you think? I like that one. I like that one a lot. That one's really good. It had a little bit of character. It had, um, some things that we need to do to it. Um, had a garage, huge garage, um, separate garage. Um, had a yard, had the high ceilings, had a nice renovated kitchen. There are some things we didn't love about it, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. Now, the cons, it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's $289. Um, but again, like we said, if it's gonna hit a lot of our points. Check or, a lot of the boxes. Check, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> check a lot of the boxes. I think we're willing to do that. but. We're going to, I think, one or two more, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Apparently, this house has had 30 showings today, and nobody's put in an offer, which is really strange. Um, but again, I, I don't want to say, like, let's put in an offer, because that's just, like, scary. <laughs> what? You got something to say She's to me? She's so indecisive. Yes. And yes, it's scary, but, like... If it's like I, I I felt that house more than any other house I felt like I felt it. I felt it too. And he oh. let's listen, guys. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys because when we turn off the camera on the way from the last house of it that I did not like that he really liked, he's like, I don't know why, but I feel it. And I said, like, You do not feel it. He's like, I don't know why, but I feel it. You feel it more with this one? Yeah, I mean, I feel yeah. more with this one. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but this next one is promising as well. Lower price point, vaulted ceilings, a lot of windows on it on this one. So, but this we'll one's see. had a lot of showings today. One offer. One offer. Uh, so we need to. Yeah. This is just so much pressure because, like, 
Okay, so when you put an offer, you have to give in the earnest money, right? No, only no. when they accept the offer. Oh, 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 oh. So we we can either go in at two eighty nine or like two seventy nine, and yeah. they'd be like, nah. Yeah. And then we can go back and be like two eighty nine, and they can still say no because they don't like us. I mean, yeah, but you try to keep emotions out of it. Right. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> Set up also because right now they just have it as rocks and like a few plants. There. I do like the big windows so you can see from each side of the house. Try wait here. This I'm gonna be a good YouTuber and finish on the day that I started. Yes. So didn't come on right after because it was dark and you couldn't see us. We've had long talks. I didn't film much of the last house because somebody was there. It was actually kind of funny. We can't, we walked in and our realtor was like, there's nobody here. And he was like, hello. <laughs> um, but you want to go ahead and take this? We're torn. Well, let's talk about the house, the first house. The first, or, or the last house that oh, we saw. Oh, got it, okay. It was okay. Mm -hmm. um, it was cool, it was different. It had yeah, a cute little atrium. An atrium with a little natural light coming through. Mm -hmm. But we didn't see it with the natural light, so, so it all I say it was a little dark. But the kitchen I didn't love, the master bathroom I didn't love. It felt a little cozier yeah. than I wanted. Um, it does have vaulted ceilings in that one living room. Um, it has windows all on that one wall, so it could be mm -hmm. a lot of light. Yeah, big but it yard. only three, three bedrooms. Yeah. So. so um, there's a lot of give and take there. I think um, we just have a lot to think about, a lot to pray about, and um, figure out really what we're what we're looking for in our first home. Oh, this last one was 237, um, three bed, two bath. Um, a lot of updates in it. Um, so, yeah, we're tired. It was a lot mentally, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have to say? I just want a pretty house that yeah. I can. Mm -hmm. For the foreseeable future. Yeah. Me too. Well, <laughs> that's the vlog. I'm sure we're going to have a couple more of these, hopefully. There will be more. Unless we put an offer on one of these houses. But we won't know until... Well, actually, you won't know until we decide to share. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, like you said, think about it, pray about it, um, and see what we decide. Because... We need to have peace for the decision. Obviously, it's a big decision, and um, at the end of the day, it's a it's a really big decision. It's the biggest decision and we're gonna make, probably. Yeah, we gotta be smart about it. Even though I just wanna like buy whatever, not whatever, but you know, specifically one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but okay, that's it. That's the video. Let me know what you guys liked. What if you've purchased a home before? If you have any advice for us? Yeah, picking a home. Um, what, picking what, what a home. What would you find most important? And what would you do differently yeah. if you bought a home in the past? Yeah. Or any any advice you have if you have a home. You know, we're still very, very new at this. and Because obviously, um, I mean, I guess we'll go into it a little bit. But what we, we're just ba basically balancing price and what we're looking for features-wise in a home. Because obviously you can pay more and get more of the features that you want or pay less, have a lower monthly payment, and sacrifice some of those features. Like, I want to know from you guys specifically if you could go back and do it again, would you go with a cheaper home um, and not be worried about your monthly payment as much, but sacrifice on the features, or would you have, did you pay less, and would you have gone back and paid a little bit more and gotten the features you want? So, um, we need some exactly. counsel. We need some counsel. So, counsel away. Um, this is the one time we're asking for feedback. Yes. So, that's, those are basically the two big things that we're, we're working through. With what we're looking for so yeah yeah pray for us please 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 discernment please. clarity please. um and that the perfect house mm. is waiting for us maybe it was one from today maybe it's not who knows mm -hmm. but thank you for following along and like i said this is not the end this is only the beginning <laughs> so um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one bye